Forever chemicals known by their scientific name as per- and polyfluoroalkyl substances, or simply as PFAS, are found in nearly the entire Earth's water supply and can last thousands of years. Riggs Eckleberry, founder and CEO of Origin Clear, is focusing his work on not only removing PFAS from water, but also working to decentralize how water is provided to Americans. Forever chemicals are chemicals that, that have been largely taken out of circulation Things like um, the stuff that's Teflon, um, various uh, polymers, you know, plastics that are indestructible. Now, we've largely gotten rid of them, but they're still circulating. According to a statement from the University of California, Los Angeles, over the past 70 years, PFAS have contaminated virtually every drop of water on the planet and their strong carbon-fluorine bond allows them to pass through most water treatment systems completely unharmed. They also said that certain cancers and thyroid diseases have been associated with PFAS. Eckleberry warned about the dangers of these forever chemicals. People should avoid forever chemicals. Um, these are harmful. They accumulate in the body. So your body, just like lead and everything else, it, it stay, stays in your body. And over time, it is harmful. Um, but people should avoid it. Chemists at UCLA and Northwestern University reportedly developed a cheap and effective solution to break down PFAS. The result is carbon dioxide, formic acid, and fluoride as byproducts in the water solution. But Eckleberry warns of fluoride in our water systems. My understanding on fluoride, and again, I'm, I'm you know, um, I'm not a public health person, but um, my understanding is that over time, fluoride in the water system can add up in people's bodies. It doesn't it keeps adding up. It doesn't really go away. And my understanding is, is that there are, um, you know, negative effects from fluoride in the water. He listed two other ways that PFAS can be effectively removed from water. The first way is to just get them absorbed, for example, into activated carbon, and the activated carbon goes into a landfill. The second way is to incinerate it, which that's okay. But Eckleberry said the problem doesn't lie in how PFAS are removed, but how the system purifies its water. He hopes to decentralize the water purification process by encouraging businesses to purify their own water at a low cost, rather than rely on the government to do so. We wanted to change the way things are done. Uh, what we're doing now is we're helping to um, transform the water industry by creating something called water as a service so that businesses can simply sign a piece of paper and they get their water system and they can treat it. He says with the current centralized model, lower income communities often pay higher prices for water in big cities due to their distance from water sources. Eckleberry added that existing water purity standards have not kept up with scientific developments. He recommended that people who are concerned about water purity can look up information by zip code through the Environmental Working Group's website at ewg.org. Daniel Hall, NTD News, California.